usually patients come in either having a problem, uh, whether their physicians felt a lump or they felt a lump or they have a change in their breast exam, and then they get to come in here after extra views for evaluation by me, and then I do a breast exam. And then after that, whether there's an abnormality I feel or they feel something, I will go ahead and ultrasound uh, the breast to further evaluate what it is that I saw on the films or that they felt or their doctor felt. Everything looks good. Right here, those dark areas on the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. are your ribs. Ultrasound may show cysts in women with very dense breasts, so a patient can come in and feel a lump but the mammogram may be normal because they have extremely dense breasts. So when you compress an organ into a 2D image, you compress tissue on top of tissue and you may not see anything. So the ultrasound may show us a fluid pocket, a cyst. And so it's very helpful because it answers uh, the question that I may have about what the patient's feeling or what the doctor's feeling. And I can easily drain the cyst since I can see it on ultrasound and get rid of the lump the patient's feeling and they're worried about. It may show a solid mass, like a fibroadenoma. Fibroadenomas are benign groups. They may be palpable, but in a dense breast tissue or in a very young patient that doesn't qualify for a mammogram because of a young age, ultrasound may be very helpful to detect the abnormality. And occasionally, when we do ultrasound for lumps, it may detect a cancer that the mammogram may not see. So ultrasound's very helpful for all those reasons. So we're going around your whole breast right up to the nipple, double checking. The ultrasound exam usually is not painful at all. The patients are very comfortable. They're lying on their back. They're not getting compressed for the mammogram. They get a chance to have one-to-one -one with me and ask their questions. They're relieved and the exam may take five to 10 to 15 minutes depending on the complexity of the situation. And every patient's situation is different. So a patient that has pain um, and the mammogram is normal and the breast exam is normal and the ultrasound is normal may not be a long exam. But in a patient with many lumps, that some cysts, some fibroadenomas, it may take longer. In a patient that may have a mass, a suspicious for cancer, that may be the longest because you have to explain what's going on, the change, what you're going to do, that you have to perform an interventional procedure. So that may take the longest. Every case is different. I will uh, dictate a full report and we'll let your doctor know the results and everything turned out okay. When it comes to the breast, patients are very anxious. And so a lot of what we do here is not just performing an exam like a lab, but also comforting and reassuring and educating the patient as we go along.